Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today for you guys we have a bit of a different thing. Um, this is not a Minecraft video by the way. I'm just playing Minecraft while I tell you this. So this is going to be the episode I'm going to name it. The story of Patrick Maroon. Um, so yeah, I think this will be a pretty interesting episode. So without wasting any more of your time. I'm going to get right into the story. So Patrick Maroon was born um, April 23rd, two, 1988, which is not too bad. So he was previously played with four different teams, um, Anaheim Ducks, Oilers, New Jersey Devils, and the St. Louis Blues, and he is now currently with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, Maroon grew up in St. Louis, where he would later win a Stanley Cup with the Blues. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, he was drafted 161st overall by the Philadelphia Flyers in the 2007, the 2007 NHL Entry Draft, um, which is pretty exciting, especially for a young hockey player to get that chance. They've been waiting for their whole young career. Um, he was then later traded to Anaheim Ducks where he made his debut in the NHL in the 2011-2012 season. Uh, so he was also with the Oilers and the Devils and let's start from the beginning. As I said he was born on April 23rd, 1988 in St. Louis, Missouri. His parents were Patty and Phil Maroon. Played, um, Maroon played with the AHL Phantoms in the 2008 and 2009 season. So Patrick Maroon got traded to the AHL affiliate, um, or traded to the Anaheim Ducks, and he went to the AHL affiliate, the Syracuse Crunch. He ended the season with the Crunch with 21 goals and 48 points in 57 games. Uh, that is pretty good in your in a season in the AHL. I think so, honestly. Um, but okay, so moving on, in the 2020 or the 2012-2013 season, Patrick Maroon was on a line with Matthew Perot, and he was actually on a line with Timu Solani. I actually never knew this until researching this for this video. This is crazy. Um, Maroon said he said. Moments like those, like being on a line with Timo Solani are moments that you'll never forget in your career. I think this is a great kind of like inspirational quote in some way. Um, kind of stating, you know, because Timo Solani is a, an amazing player and sometimes you don't get opportunities like that. So you got to um, be happy about the time you had in that experience, stuff like that. Um, so moving on to the next part of this. Um, so he was a free agent on July twenty on July tenth, two thousand eighteen. Maroon signed a one year, one point seven five million dollar deal with the St. Louis Blues. He also later in that season helped the Blues get a Stanley Cup for the first time in their franchise history. Um, they would beat the Boston Bruins in seven games in the Stanley Cup Finals and we'll quick get a kill there. Um, so anyways he helped them beat Tampa Bay Lightning on September 28, 2020 when he was with the Lightning. He won a Stanley Cup, which is his second career Stanley Cup. And then following that, um, Wednesday, July 7th, which was for the day I'm recording this, the day you'll see this, one day earlier, he won his third Stanley Cup. And with the Tampa Bay Lightning, his second with the Tampa Bay Lightning. That is absolutely insane, guys. Um, so anyways, in his career, Pat Maroon has played 568 total games. He has 101 goals and 140 
46 assists, totaling a total of 247 points. He also has 647 career penalty minutes. Um, his, he's totaled three Stanley Cups in his career. Great career. Hun, um, playoff stats, 121 games in the playoffs. That is a lot. Um, 19 goals, 25 assists, with 44 um, points and 149 penalty minutes in the playoffs. Guys, Maroon is no joke. He is a great player. He's won three Stanley Cups. Uh, there's really nothing else to say. Um, so that is the story of Patrick Maroon. Let me know if you guys want me to do another one of these kind of stories of a hockey player and the greats and stuff like that. Um, so let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, anyways, that is going to do it for me, and peace out.